We're at Genspace in Brooklyn, the first DIY bio lab. Let's check it out. One of the biggest megatrends right now in the planet is the ability to, you know, program biology. At SOSV, we're the largest early stage investor in life sciences uh, globally. I need to know a little bit more about you know, this hubbub. <laughs> what are the kids doing? What are the kids doing? So you're doing your homework? Doing my homework. All right. You take that out? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Cool, right? <laughs> yeah. We can't let you take these home. <laughs> this is one of our lab environments. We also have a classroom environment. This is a class that we offer for three different weekends where people get not only a little bit of the basics of the theory behind molecular biology and cloning and stuff like that, but also can get some hands-on experience. These are different bacteria that have a genetic program that the students have put in. You could choose red fluorescent protein, green fluorescent protein, um, or do both. This is only one of two projects that we do uh, during the biotech crash course. Genspace is a community bio lab. We're the first of its kind. People work on hardware projects. We also have people working on their own companies, so entrepreneurs and startups. It's kind of a great mix of, you know, hobbyists, scientists, artists, designers, chefs, any, anyone who wants to be here. Places like this allow people who are not scientifically trained to interact with scientists and learn things that affect their lives without feeling afraid that they might ask a question that, you know, they should have studied. Or, you know what I mean? There's no prereqs. And we can see that the sea bass and the Neanderthal are most closely related. <laughs> so we have a bunch of PCR machines. That's where a lot of the magic happens, right? We have our centrifuge, our incubators. This is our mammalian um, tissue culture. Microscopes. We're building out a microscopy lab here we're really excited about. We have these new DNA barcoding classes. You bring in a sample, you know, you want to know if that goat's cheese is really goat. Is this sushi, is this tuna really tuna? You use the PCR machine, you'll run a gel, you'll learn how to actually find out and sequence and find out what that really is. All the fun toys you need, you know, to do what you want to do. This plate is a really good example of it. As they start to divide, they can become a macroscopic colony also. I think that these kind of spaces are really cool and also important because the types of molecular techniques that we talk about are things that are being applied in not only healthcare, but food, in um, environmental studies in things that are affecting our day-to-day -day life and materials in uh, all types of different ways. The more people understand about how technology affects them, the more they're able to make decisions about how that technology should be used. Right here is a great example of kind of what happens at Genspace. This is called OpenTron's robot and their founder took a class at Genspace, just like what you were seeing upstairs earlier, and said, wow, you know, he started doing all this pipetting and he's like, this could be quicker. If you're doing protocols, you know, you're doing the same thing over and over again. A lot of times in biology, you know, you're just pipetting, pipetting, pipetting. He's like, well, why don't, why isn't there a machine that does it? Now people have access to this automation that they wouldn't have had access to before. So it's about citizen science, right? Giving everyone the opportunity to have access, to get hands-on lab experience. You don't have to be in a PhD program. You don't have to be in a university um, to, you know, really get your hands in the lab and do real experiments. This is an egalitarian space open to anyone who has an interest in biology. We assume no basic knowledge of DNA, RNA, protein, the different building blocks of life, but we hope that you leave with an appreciation for all of these things. <laughs> Very cool. Is there homework? Never. No? Never. But they come out with a lot of knowledge? And... Uh, we've, we hope so. <laughs> there's, no, there's no grading either, so uh, it's all the best parts of teaching. It's a, it's a part of engagement, student discussion, and no grading. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, good, I good. Loved I loved the class. <laughs> <laughs>